in this lecture of maxima and minima we will understand the terms stationary points or turning points stationary values or turning values critical points and points of inflection first we will see what are stationary points the values of x for which f dash x is equal to 0 are called stationary points or turning points and the corresponding values of fx are called stationary or turning values. This can also be said the other way. A point or points in the graph of a function that tells that the function itself is neither decreasing nor increasing is called a stationary point. Now we have the following observations. At the stationary points, the derivative is 0, the tangent line is horizontal, the function is neither increasing nor decreasing. Consider the following graph of a function. Observe that in this graph, at x equal to c, the function is neither increasing nor decreasing. And also we see that the tangent is horizontal and f dash c is equal to 0. Therefore, we say this point c is a stationary point. Consider this figure now. In this figure also, we see that in the left neighborhood of c, the function is decreasing and in the right neighborhood, the function is increasing. However, at x equal to c, the function is neither increasing nor decreasing. In fact, we say that the point is stationary. Hence, we call this as the stationary point. And also, we have f dash c is equal to 0. Now, how do we justify this? Since the function is decreasing on the left neighborhood of the point c, f dash x has a negative sign. Similarly, the function is increasing on the right neighborhood of the point C, f dash x will have a positive sign. Therefore, left side f dash x is less than 0, right side f dash x is greater than 0 and from this we can say that at x equal to C, where the function is neither increasing nor decreasing, f dash x must be 0. But this is the point x equal to c. Therefore, we say that f dash c is equal to 0. Now, we have the following notes. The first one is not all functions have stationary points. Secondly, a line has no stationary points. And also, circles do not have stationary points. Now, we will see how to find stationary points with the help of an example. Consider the graph of the function y is equal to 2x square plus 3. We can as well write this as f of x is equal to 2x square plus 3. Now, we will find the first derivative which will be f dash x that is equal to 4x. Now, when we put f dash x is equal to 0, we get x is equal to 0. Using this value of x equal to 0 in this equation, we get y is equal to 3. Therefore, we have the point 0, 3 as the stationary point. So, we will represent the same on this graph here the point 0, 3 is the stationary point. Also, observe that if we draw the tangent at this point, it is horizontal. Now, we will see a counterexample that is the function where it does not have any stationary points. This is an absolute value function. f of x is equal to absolute value of x. Clearly, this function is not derivable at x equal to 0. 
we know that this function is not derivable at x equal to 0 though the minimum point of x is at the origin. Therefore, we can say that this function has no stationary points. Now, we will discuss about critical points. The values of x for which f dash x is equal to 0 or f dash x does not exist are known as critical points. This is where the critical points and stationary points differ. Hence, we have the following note. A critical point can occur when f dash x does not exist, but stationary points only occur when f dash x is equal to 0. Now, we will see how to find critical points with the help of the following example. Consider the function f x is equal to x raised to the power half minus x raised to the power 3 upon 2, where x belongs to the closed interval 0, 4. Therefore, it is given the domain of the function as the closed interval 0, 4. So, we will restrict the graph to this interval 0, 4. Now, let us find the first derivative of the function. So, f dash x is found to be equal to 1 minus 3 x upon 2 square root x. Observe that f dash x is not defined when x is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 0 is one of the critical points. Also, when f dash x is equal to 0, we see that x is equal to 1 by 3. Hence, we can say that the critical points for this function are 0 and 1 by 3. Now, we will move on to the points of inflection. Now, we have seen in one of the previous lectures, when c is a point of local maxima, f dash x changes sign from positive to negative as x increases through c. We also have seen that whenever c is a point of local minima, f dash x changes sign from negative to positive as x increases through c. But what happens if f dash x does not change the sign? That means on both the sides if it is positive or both the sides if it is negative. Then we say that c is neither a point of local maxima nor a point of local minima, but we call this as a point of inflection. Observe the two spellings of inflection, both of them are acceptable. Now, see the following graph of the function f of x is equal to x plus sin x. The red dots that is p1, p2, p3, p4 and p5. These are the points of inflection for this curve. We will now discuss the concept of points of inflection with the help of a tangent at this point. Observe that one side of the curve lies below the tangent and on the other side it lies above the tangent at p. We can see this in both of these figures. In this, this is the point then this part of the curve is below this tangent and this part of the curve is above the tangent line. Therefore, we say p is a point of inflection or one more way of saying the same is the point where the curve crosses the tangent. Now, consider one more example here. This is the function f of x is equal to x cube. So, f dash x will be therefore 3 x square. From this, it follows that f dash 0 is equal to 0. Now, 
although f dash 0 is equal to 0, observe that x equal to 0 that is at the origin, this point is neither a point of maxima nor a point of minima. Therefore, we can say that 0 is neither a point of local maxima nor a point of local minima, but it is a point of inflection. Hence, we have discussed the stationary, critical and points of inflection.